Hey everybody, it's Susan here from Susan Makes Jewelry and More. Um, I know that it's been a little bit crazy with this coronavirus business. I don't want to talk about it. Um, just want to maybe bring a little sunshine or a little something. Um, I noticed that I have been, I've been really making a lot of canes lately. Can you see all my junk, all my cane stuff? Um, and so I've been making a ton of canes and I have like three big, huge, uh, containers full of canes. Um, I mean, containers like this, this is just what I'm working on right now, but I noticed I had a whole bunch of them. And one time I made, um, a really cool cane and where did I put it? Oh yeah, here long time ago, I took a bunch of my old canes and stuck them together like that. Most of my flower canes and then a couple of the um, leaf canes I stuck in there. And so I thought, well, why not do it again? So I thought maybe I might kind of show you a little bit of how I do that. It's probably very easy for everybody to figure out, but I thought, what the heck, you know, um, everybody's trying to find something to get their minds off of all the business that's going on. So I figured, what the heck? As a matter of fact, my daughter over here is working on some stuff herself, Miss, Miss Thing. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, if you ever want to see me and my daughter in our finest, go to my pay, uh, we have a channel together called um just be random so it's just the letter b and then random all together and you can see some some of our crazy antics that we've been up to uh we haven't posted a video on there for over a year but um yeah we we need to do another one right yeah, yeah. Right. see with they're on spring break this week so it kind of was okay but they are now not able to go back to school till at least the 6th of April, if not different. So and so, um, anyway, I wanted to show you kind of what I was working on. And so, I have, this is some of the canes that I've been uh, just putting off to the side and figuring what I want to do. Like, I didn't do this one yet because I want to do like flowers and leaves first and then go to um, a different uh, type of cane where I have like different types of shapes and stuff. Okay, come on. There's one of my little rose canes and I don't have any of those in there. I've been taking like different sizes of some of the, the canes that I have made up. And let's see, what do I got here? Oh, this is like a real crazy looking one. Got spots all in it. And here's one of my leaf canes that I made recently. It's all messed up. <laughs> and then here's another one that I made. It's all messed up. You know, when you reduce it, sometimes it gets all crazy. And then here's one I just made a few days ago. And what I like to do when I make canes is I like to make them in different sizes. So, like, I'll keep the original size. I'll save, like, a really nice chunk. And then I'll, the rest of it I'll put into smaller and smaller. So, yeah, I like to do that. And here's another one. This is all translucent on the inside. And when it, lately, um, whenever I make anything with translucent clay, I use Cernic uh, uh, translucent. I mean, it gives me the best... Uh, the best satisfaction as far as the translucency. I can't even find what I did with the, the container I just opened. There it is. See, this stuff is amazing. Um, when I do a translucent uh, project, it really does turn out translucent and it's just, I absolutely love it. Like these here, whoopsies. Um, 
these little butterflies. This is, um, I have the, the underneath is from um, a nail, uh, nail foils, you know, that you get from, for nail art. So it's got this rainbowy colors. And then I took a um, translucent cane and that's where the white stuff is. So you have white and translucent together. And I mean, the rest of it's translucent on top. So it's like really clear. And let's see if I, you can see any. Here's a little flower kind. So you can see the translucency on those canes. You can just see the green. Isn't that awesome? I think they're so cool. And I can't remember which of my, my gurus. <laughs> Here's the other of the other translucent or the other butterfly. Um, I can't remember if it was Samantha Burroughs or, um, I think it was Katie Gordon that told me about the Cernet. Um, I can't remember, but yeah, I love working with this translucent. It's really amazing when you want a really cool translucent. Otherwise, I would use Primo White translucent because it has, it doesn't have that yellowish uh, finish with the translucency. It has more of a, a white uh, translucency. Anyway, so what I did was I took all of these old, a lot of these canes that I had made a long time ago. These, some of these are, well, I've only been at it for a little over a year, so some of these are like from when I first started and they look, they look like it. What's this one? It looks like one of my translucent, yeah, that's one of my translucent canes. Whoopsie, stay there. So anyway, I've already pretty much picked out everything that I wanna do on this particular cane. So, um, see, do I need a small one of those? I think I do. Okay, so then what I'm doing is I'm taking the Cernet Translucent, and I'm rolling it out on a four uh, setting on my um, on my pasta machine, and I have an Atlas 150, so the number four is relatively thin. See, and it it goes on these pretty nicely, you know. Because you're going to, once you put all of these together, see, these are all the ones I've got done so far. Once you've put them all together, then you just, what you do is you arrange them in the way you want them to show up in the cane. You know, you put your, a couple of your, um, your leaves in here so that you know that you have little leaf going on you know it's hard to do with one hand but anyway and then um once we get all of this together um I will come back and show you what I've designed so to speak and then what we'll do is we'll reduce it all down and that's going to take a, a minute or two because it's going to be a big fat one and uh, that's why you have to be really careful with what you're picking out. Uh, and just remember that, um, and the reason why I wrapped all of these in translucent is because I don't want for you to see in between. Like this one here, it's not very good. But this one here, I used Primo translucent. And it looks pretty decent. You see that? It looks pretty decent in there, but this translucent is going to be even better. So, um, and then when I'm done putting them all together, then I will wrap them. I haven't decided if I'm going to wrap it in white and then translucent around that. I haven't decided really quite yet what I want to do. But um, anyway, this is what I'm working on right now, and I hope I can get this done tonight. Um, I've been kind of 
uh, yucky lately, so I, no, I don't have the coronavirus. Stomach flu. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be back, and you'll see how it's going to be put together, and we'll get it all reduced down so we have some really cool canes, okay? So, I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Hey guys, it's Susan again. I hope everybody's having a, a good Friday. Um, I got all of my little guys together. Here's my massive, you can see how big it is. There's my hand. So it's pretty close to the size of my hand. Anyway, uh, I put a sheet of the Cernit Translucent. I don't know if you can see it. But I have two layers. Oh, you can kind of see it there. I have two layers. One layer is the Cernit Translucent. And then I got the Cernit Opaline. Opaline and I got it in white. Um, and that's what I put on the outside. So now it's time to reduce. And Eventually, I want this to be a round cane. Um, I might do like part of it round, part of it uh, square. But one thing I also did when um, I got this, I took a tool and I just kind of went in here to make sure there's no bubbles or anything in the, the uh, outside. I wanted to make sure there was clay in all of these little grooves so that they, um, there's no like bubbles to pop or anything like that. So basically, um, the easiest way to reduce this is to do it as a, a square for me. Um, if you do it as a circle, there's more chances of um, disrupting the, um, the uh, ends. I'm going to have a lot of ends that are going to be caca because I've got, see I have different, different heights, but I tried to make it as, as good as I could. Let me try to bring this back out. I'm still learning how to video with my phone. It's like it never wants to, there we go. And this tripod stinks. Anyway, so basically, I formed it into a, a square, and I'm just slowly reducing it down. When I told my husband, I said, see this great big thing? I'm going to reduce it down to about that size. And he's like, oh, really? I don't think he believes me. I don't know. I don't know if he does or not. My daughter does, because she's seen me do it. So anyway, um, while I am doing this, I, I like to watch the X-Files. My daughter and I like to binge watch stuff. And we've so far been through the librarians, um, Andromeda, gotta have some Kevin Sorbo. He's like babelicious. And, oh yeah, we did all the Star Treks, uh, well, Star Trek, the original, and then um, Next Gen. And my daughter is 15 and is in love with Jean-Luc Picard. There's nothing wrong with it, that's all. He's a babe, she said. <laughs> I never said that. Oh, hush. But anyway, um, let's see, we've watched those, we've watched all the Star Trek movies, before we watched the movies, I made her watch uh, several episodes of, um, um, what was it, the original Star Trek, before she could really understand, you know, she needs to know who Spock is, and, you know, and Doc, and everything, and Kirk, because the first few movies, you know, have them in it, until they go through that time warp thing. Anyway, but uh, let's see, we've gone through those. She wants to watch Next Gen again. Her 
Space Deep Nine. Space Nine, we we really didn't care for too much. We tried. We tried real hard. We went two two seasons, and we just couldn't get into it. So that's when we went to let's see Netflix. We watched a bunch of stuff. It's like we started um, series, and then we get bored with it, like The Flash hey. and DC Legends. And then we watch uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We've watched how many seasons? Mm -hmm. Four seasons? We, we're almost on the fourth season. Yeah, we're almost, we're almost towards the end of it. No, we have four more seasons after. Oh, there's a lot more? Yeah, there's eight seasons. Oh, okay. But we're, we're digging that. But you know, every now and then you need to change it up with something else. So, I told her about X-Files because we both like science fiction stuff. And yeah. so, she... Uh, I told her about it. She's like, oh, wow, that's cool. And she thinks David Duchovny is pretty, pretty nice to look at. I think he is, too. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> and then I told her that they actually came out and did, um, they did X-Files again. She goes, is it with the original actors? And I go, yeah, David Duchovny. And, oh, what is Scully's name? Dana. Dana Scully. That's her. Oh, wait. What is. Oh, I can't. It just all of a sudden left me. What is her Honestly, name? Honestly, Scully is a mood. Oh. Mm. I apologize. I can't remember her name. But anyway, um, we are starting at the very beginning from back in 93. She was born in 2004, so this is like 11 years before she was even a spark. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, so we're like on season three, episode 11 right now. And uh, so every now and again, my husband will come in and, what are you watching? And he goes, oh, that's a good one. He'll sit and watch it with us. But uh, do you ever have one person in your family that comes and watches a movie or a TV show and talks all through it? That's my husband. Sorry, I had to get a piece of hair. I have a cat and a dog, and they both shed. They won't admit it, but I've seen it. <laughs> anyway... Um, I'm going to continue to watch my X-Files and pound on this a bit. You see how it's gotten a little bit smaller? It's, it's a getting there. It's going to take a while because it is so big. But, I mean, this is just a fraction of, of the canes I have. I'm thinking about taking uh, some of the canes that I have that are uh, not flower-related or something because um, I have like stained glass, I have um, um, just different canes that probably were messed up or something. Um, another fun cane to make is a uh, lace cane. You can use, like I have, I don't know if you can see this very well. Yeah, it shows pretty good. This is a lace cane that I did with black and translucent. It's made with uh, Primo Black and Primo uh, White Translucent. And I got into a bad habit. Thanks, Susan, from Turtle, Turtle Beads, Turtle Soup Beads. She got me hooked on putting uh, gold leafing on my things it gives the beads a little something something a little bling a linga because when you cut them real thin like you do for beads and whatnot you get just a little sliver of that little sparkle and it's really nice it's not overboard so anyway i'm going to continue to work on this and when i'm ready to break them up into smaller bits or <laughs> Who knows? I might just go ahead and make them in different sizes. Um, I will come back and we'll end that, this tutorial for now. Um, I do not 
remember who I got this idea from. So I will say thank you to uh, Samantha Burroughs at Jessima Tutorials, um, Susan over at Turtle Soup Beads. Um, love another Susan. Gotta have another Susan. Um, let's see. Oh, Katie Gordon. She's an amazing uh, multimedia artist. Um, who else do I watch? I love to watch Clay Zoo, but I know I didn't get it from her from him. Um, he makes some really cool canes if you want things that are on the different side. Um, who else do I like to watch? Oh my golly, there's so many. Um, there's Ludvina. Um, there's, oh, there's quite a few. Um, mostly lately though, I've been just watching, um, Katie and, oh, uh, Polymer Clay TV. 10 years of amazing videos. Please go see them. Um, so basically I've just been watching Katie Polymer Clay TV, and um, Jessima Tutorials, um, Samantha Burroughs. And so basically that's what the ones I watch the most of. Oh, Allison Merritt. Um, I love her stuff too. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to get off here, maybe grab a little dinner, and push this down to a little... A little guy and um, it's going to be a lot of cane because this is so much clay um, this is probably about six or seven cubes of clay worth if not more um, but anyway I'm just I'm just talking to be talking now so anyway I will be back as soon as I'm done reducing and then I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll make another tutorial um, of what I make with it, okay? So, hang in there. It'll be just a second for you, but it's going to be a little while for me. So, take it easy, and I'll see you in a minute. Hi, guys. Once again, it's Susan here. Um, I need help. My daughter's going nuts. No, I'm not. She is so crazy. Back off. We just did a Sonic run. We needed a Friday evening treat. And see all my stuff? <laughs> I have to work um, in my living room, so I don't have a lot of workspace. So I share with my family. Anyway, so remember that great big deal of clay? Well, here's... Here's one of the parts. I cut this in half uh, from the other half. And that's what it looks like in there. It's not very... It's not focusing so good. Maggie, please stop. Child's crazy. Okay, that's a little better. Now, just, you know, stuff here on the outside is a little obscure but that's okay i kind of expected that to happen so then i whittled it down to this size looks a little something like that and then i cut that in half and i got it down to this size i love how that Purple and black rose just stands right out. So purdy. I'm patting myself on the back, I think. Mm -hmm. Then I got these. I just cut these in half. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a real, you know, a smaller size cane out of this one. And most likely I will probably make a veneer with it and I think I'm thinking of doing half of it just plain of of the uh, the cane 
and um, and then I think that um, I might do the other half with a uh, um, with a white lace chain, and I made these. I followed uh, Katie Gordon's um, tutorial on making the translucent chains. I had made them a while back too, but I always forget. So I'm so grateful that I have everybody's YouTubes to fall back on because otherwise I'd be like, oh, I know I'm gonna miss a spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, you little stinker. I tape it so that it doesn't fly off. Anywho, basically, Katie is just teaching you the basics. <laughs> like, this is a stacked cane. And I have part of it in regular Primo White. And the other part in Cernit Translucent. You see that? And then here is a bullseye cane. There you go. You can see that better. And let's see. What else do I got here? This is a... Um, what did she call this one? I just call this one a, a plug because it's just, it's got the translucent inside and then the white around the outside. And it's, you can tell the, the white is cold because it's cracking big time. Let's see what else I got in this mess. Oh, there's more. I made two different kind of bullseyes. One is um, the... Well, you can tell the difference between the two. Focus. Focus camera. There it goes. Oh, I see how it goes. Okay, um, come on. You can see the difference. They're smaller, uh, the white and the translucent are smaller thickness. Oh, come on. I'm getting a little bit frustrated. Let's try that all over. Hand paints. See? That's better. But so you can see the difference between the two. And then, what else was this? I think this was the other half of the plug. So we got those, and then we made a flower cane. All right. My camera doesn't like me tonight for some reason. a little bit better. Can you see it? I know it's a little hard to see because of the translucent. The the Cernit translucent is really translucent and it's even more so when you bake it. And then this is um this is made from little bullseyes. No, not bullseyes, little plugs. It kind of looks like a flower. I'm sorry, my camera's not very nice. Um, let's see, these are all the flower, uh, translucent flowers. I'm hoping that maybe you can see this one a little better.
a little better. And then I have one of these. I just put them into different um, thicknesses. Yeah, and then we did the uh, the plug cane, and we did it in different, um, we did it, um, like, in the center is the, is the uh, translucent, and then we took white and went around, and then we took translucent and went around that again, so... Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't like this very much. I can tell. There. Did you catch that? You might have to rewind and freeze frame. Uh -huh. Oh, for crying out loud. Anyway. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it with the, the canes. Um, what I'm, like I said, what I might do is do like half a veneer with the, um, with these, the new cane that I just made and, and the other half of the veneer I'll probably, um, put, you, you slice the, the lace canes really, really thin. It's like paper and you put it over and then, um, I know I've shown you examples of what they look like after they have been baked. But let me, I just finished a couple of things. That's not it. This is it. Come on, little boy. That was gonna come on too. Okay. And see the the white stuff? Those are the white, but you literally cannot see the translucent clay. Isn't that cool? But you can see the uh, coloring and stuff underneath that. And what I used for this is like that foil for your nails. Um, once you have your nail polish on and everything, then you can put this the foil on your fingernails and but i use i use all of the nail stuff i use it for my clay because it works just as good but here is a flower pretty huh and i got one just like it i did two two of them and then i have earrings to match for both the butterfly and for the these little star flower things. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I sometimes tend to just chatter, but that's my nature. I'm a talker. So if you're a talker like me or just a good listener, give me a thumbs up for this video. It'll mean a whole lot to me. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please click that subscription button and click the notification bell. And every time I, I put up a new video, it will tell you. It will let you know, hey, Susan makes jewelry. Got it all together again. So I hope you guys are handling the quarantine well. Um, I hope that you're all in safe, uh, you're all safe and sound and your families are all doing good. Um, I hope that we get out of this situation soon and all my friends from all over the world, please be safe and sound and, um, I'm going to try to come up with a little something to make with these new canes and I'll probably show you how I did it. So, here's wishing you all well, and happy crafting. Love you guys. Bye.